Here is the 1650 SGT. Uh, I haven't done nothing to the front or anything. It's still all the same. I might have switched all that out. But I got the frame extensions welded on. Oh shit, what the hell was a piece of wood tell me? Right. See, I got it all welded. I just shot it with black spray paint. I figured black would be better than rust. Until I, until I get it all mechanically sound. And then I'm gonna use a little while, save up some money, and repaint it. But it doesn't matter. Wheels be covering this. Fender paint, it doesn't matter. The fender paint comes under here. The wheels be covering the rest of it. But she's strong. See, I didn't, I didn't grind that in there off. I, well, I didn't want any of that. I didn't need that right there. Obviously, I gotta. These laying up under there under that ridge and right there but that ain't all of it that's just the sides and the sides are welded in there real good and they're pretty smooth I mean ain't no bumps see fingers hardly ever move it's real smooth but hey uh, what I do with that piece of square tube will be uh, welded from probably there not this piece but probably about from right there to right there I think I'm thinking for the fender pan up right through there as the fender pan's got to set, in, set about one inch higher to make it set right yeah I know I welded on been going kind of slow since 129 tore up and I had to fix all that truning and stuff but yeah she pretty she's strong and what I'm thinking about doing is uh, after I get my drive line everything every all that put on if I have the room and it doesn't interfere with anything of course you know it's gonna have the footrest bracket on here if it doesn't interfere I'm gonna think about putting a brace right through there but I, I don't know if it hit the drive shaft or not well, welding a piece of square tube in or something through there brace that frame some more okay, from, just to help it out and I don't know I took that collar out so I was afraid the uh, well I didn't take it out I had to grind it out I had to cut it as close as I could with my big my black and nickel grinder that one I left in there I don't reckon it's going to hurt anything I got tired of cutting after a while so I filled them two holes right there where the spring says to go and I still got to fill that hole up and I got to fill that other color hole up but I ain't filling them right there up until I get my rear end so I know where I got to drum my holes Is that my, that's a good reference point to, to figure out where I got to drum my other holes at but yeah well there's another update on the old 1650 SGT bye